Hi guys, I, uh, I bought a cheap uh, Asus or Asus as uh, it seems to be pronounced but I'm calling it an Asus um, laptop from Curry's a couple of days ago and uh, it was to replace a poor old tired Toshiba that I use for processing orders and printing out uh, invoices and things like that in the workshop and uh, uh, nice enough laptop, came with Windows 8.1 uh, after going through a few hours of uh, various updates last night, it uh, eventually said, oh, would you like to uh, download Windows 10? So we went through, I think it was 2.7 gig of data it wanted to download, which it did, and uh, only to go straight back to Windows 8.1, and, and it was still carrying on doing various other updates. Eventually, during the night, it uh, managed to download Windows 10, and this morning I installed it, and uh, everything appeared to be just fine. Uh, but after about after you start the machine up, after about 30 or 60 seconds of having the computer up and running, the um, the mouse pointer will just suddenly freeze, and you can't bring it back. Uh, at all. I rebooted it a couple of times and thought well you know that's really a bit odd um, and then I powered up another laptop here and just did a quick search for the ASUS, Asus uh, touchpad not working on Windows 10 and I came across this uh, excellent uh, site it's uh, ivanrf.com slash en slash asus hyphen uh, smart hyphen gesture hyphen and hyphen windows hyphen 10 I'll, I'll put a link in the uh, description and it describes uh, the exact problem uh, that I had and what you've got to do is you have to do and download the Asus smart gesture program 4.0.6 and also uh, AT, sorry ATK driver version 1.0.0039 there's 32 and 64 bit versions and uh, apparently this is uh, all caused by a Toshiba driver called Elan and uh, there is details here to how to prevent that uh, from uh, updating so you've got to uninstall the uh, Asus Smart Gesture uninstall the ATK drivers and then install the new uh, versions that you've just downloaded and uh, after that it's uh, it's been working fine but why Asus or Microsoft you know haven't worked out that this needs to be installed and updated uh, you know before you get this far with Windows 10 I've absolutely no idea but fortunately this website was uh, was there and I'm sure it's probably mentioned many other places and probably YouTube I didn't look this is the first thing that came up and uh, that was absolutely fine so all up and running although it has taken the best part of 24 hours to fully update everything get Windows 10 on there and uh, also install all of the programs that you forget you actually use and, and you realize they're not there when you come to uh, come to actually use it but this is all linked up now I have um, a Xerox uh, laser printer connected to it a QL 500 uh, label printer and uh, a little barcode scanner uh, small issue with getting the QL 500 to be uh, recognized I think there's USB 3 ports on the left of the uh, machine and it just didn't seem very happy there so I've got a small hub plugged in on the right and uh, everything's connected to that except for the USB, sorry, the uh, wireless mouse uh, which is plugged in on the left. That has been a little bit flaky, I have to say. Uh, it seems alright now but you know, I've also changed the battery on it so it could have been the uh, the issue. But it was a little bit flaky to, uh, to start with but it seems fine. Uh, yeah, so if you lose your uh, mouse pointer everything's gone the whole touchpad is disabled uh, the, the answer is smart gesture and the AT, was it ATK uh, program that I just uh, said about 
just download those, uninstall the old versions and uh, yeah, you'll be fine. If that Elan driver updates itself, uh, you know, in a, in a few days, you could be back to square one and then just follow the details to, uh, you know, disable it. Uh, hopefully uh, someone's going to take care of this uh, properly at some point. Uh, and there is details about removing, uh, you know, various drivers if they're causing problems. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that. Uh, the other problem uh, I had, uh, my VGA cable, I'm using the second monitor on this just to extend the screen. I uh, had a slightly too short VGA cable, so I just quickly plugged in the Samsung monitor with an HDMI cable and uh, again working perfectly uh, until I went to play back one of the videos I created yesterday and there was uh, was no sound. Um, I thought uh, that the it might be something to do with the HDMI connection and I proved it just by unplugging the, the other monitor and uh, the sound came back but to uh, to resolve no sound if you've connected a uh, HDMI cable if you just go to the sound icon and then click on playback devices you'll see the Samsung's been detected uh, even though it has no uh, speakers and then you'll see the speakers uh, laptop speakers are there but they won't be ticked uh, so you just need to highlight that and then select set as default and click OK uh, and then you'll find that the sound will come back uh, on the laptop speakers. Uh, Windows 10 seems uh, yeah, quite nice, it's a little bit different. Uh, there is this issue, uh, I use LastPass on all my devices, it's a, a password uh, saving program, very good, been using it for years. But this new Internet Explorer is called Microsoft Edge and uh, when you go to LastPass you can't get it to work with Microsoft Edge and LastPass say it's because Microsoft have not uh, currently allowing uh, third-party add-ons for it. Uh, fortunately the solution is to uh, when you run Edge uh, there is a button on the top right uh, it's not there at the moment because we're not on a page but uh, just here I don't know whether you can see this on the camera if you go to a page uh, you can then click it, uh, click open with Internet Explorer and uh, that will allow the LastPass add-on uh, to work so again I'm sure at some point they'll uh, rectify all of that but it seems pretty quick um, a lot of the stuff's where you expect it to be um, file explorer just brings up all of your drives and some of the folders all of your apps can be brought up here uh, all apps and then you can just scroll through those they're in an alphabetical list yeah so so far it's uh, it seems all right but uh, you know first day when he had it up and running properly for a few hours but i just thought i'd better mention the touchpad issue and uh, the sound problem if you've connected an hdmi uh, monitor okay catch you later